Ashley Rita and I went to Scottsdale High School for um, year 7 to year 10, so 2011 to 2014. And then I went through to LC for year 11 and 12 in 2015 and 2016. Scottsdale High School was a really positive experience for me. I absolutely loved it here. So I just, I really loved, it was a school that was close to my home. So I'm from Bridport, so it wasn't a massive drive for me. I caught the bus every day. I was with my friends every day. Um, I made really strong connections here at Scottsdale. I had a lot of friends from Bridport that came through here as well that I stayed really close with, but I also made so many friends from other schools like Scottsdale, Ringarooma, all the primary schools sort of merged in together. It was a really good like academic team when I was here. Um, they really sort of listened to what I wanted and helped me with my learning, with the areas I wanted to work in. I did some personalised learning and um, did some projects that were my passions and it really sort of helped me engage in learning and um, get what I wanted out of school. So yeah, I loved, I loved school. I had no idea when I was at school. Like the world was my oyster. I had so many ideas about possibilities. Like I wanted to be a psychologist. I wanted to be an occupational therapist. There were just so many things I thought I could see myself doing. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> I went through to Launceston College. It was really good. Um, again, a lot of my friends also went through to Launceston College. So I had a similar sort of experience to when I came to Scottsdale High School, a lot of a friend base from Scottsdale that went through to Launceston College. But then I also made so many friends at Launceston College that I, like from everywhere, like Riverside, Cressy, like just all the schools came in and everyone was so welcoming, so friendly. The teachers were great at LC, like I had a really good experience with the teachers. The transition was really good. Um, obviously it was a lot further for me. Um, I'm from Bridport, so I was catching the bus in um, sort of on a Monday and then home on a Friday, so I was living in town during the week. Um, so it was a bit different being away from home, but I think it developed me a lot as a person, like grew my confidence in myself and my independence. And so the transition, not just from a learning perspective, but also from a lifestyle perspective, like I learnt a lot. It was a really good eye opener, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, all the teachers were really supportive. And if there were any gaps in my knowledge that I wasn't quite up to speed with, they really caught us up. I got heaps, heaps out of college. Like I said, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I had an idea it was going to be in the healthcare industry, but I didn't really know 100%. So I tried to keep my subjects really broad. I did like a lot of science, a lot of um, like a sports science, that sort of thing. And I learned so much, like even now, yeah, um, in my final year of paramedics, there's things that we've gone over that I remember learning in year 12 in biology and chemistry. It's really interesting actually, um, my first year of paramedics, there was a chemistry unit that we did. And I remember when I was in year 12 doing chemistry thinking, oh, how am I ever gonna get this? And now I do it at uni and I'm like, how did I ever not get this? Like, so I'm so glad that that sort of feeling of what the heck is this was when I was at college, not at uni. Because by the time I got to uni, I was like, oh yeah, this is fine, I've done this before. It was really good. I went straight from year 12 to uni. Um, I started at UTAS. So I knew I wanted to be in the healthcare industry, but I didn't know what. So I chose exercise science. Um, I did that because I loved, I loved physical activity. I actually went to the gym a lot when I was at LC. So love, love that sort of thing. But then I also love science and I love really getting down to the nitty gritty, like the like biology, all that sort of stuff. So I just sort of thought exercise science is a good middle ground and I didn't want to lose my momentum of schooling. So I thought I'll just go straight in. I loved exercise science, it was amazing. For me, it was that the job prospects weren't what I wanted. So um, I didn't want to be any of the things that came of the degree. So I looked into it and I decided to change. So my brother, is two years older than me. He had just become a police officer and he um, said to me that he'd just done the forensics unit through his training and he said he thought it was something I'd be really interested in. So I went across to um, Deakin in Geelong, Victoria, and I lived there for 12 months and did first year forensic science. Same thing, absolutely loved it, so interesting. I learnt so many things, like even things I still remember now, like just such random stuff because it was forensics, but it was awesome. But same thing, job prospects weren't what I wanted. Um, so that was a bit disheartening. So I 
decided to go for paramedics because it was um, basically a civilian medic and I thought it would be a good option in the healthcare industry so it was what I was interested in. I love helping people as well so I thought it really married up well. I study at the moment through Central Queensland University. Um, paramedics is also offered in Tassie at UTAS but I just chose Central Queensland because UTAS is a fast track degree, it's done in two years and I was going to have to move to Hobart whereas Central Queensland it offers it online, I could stay at home, um, still ride my horses, all that sort of thing so I decided to stay home with mum and dad and do that and yeah I'm studying through Queensland so all my placements are in Queensland so I'm about to do my, it's my, it, I'm in my final year and I've got two more placements to go so I'm on Sunday actually heading off for my second last placement ever before I'm fully qualified so it's a bit scary, but <laughs> it's, it's exciting. I absolutely love paramedics, it's really good. When you're at high school, a lot of the time you don't know what you're gonna do when you're older, and that can be a really scary feeling. I know myself, I felt very overwhelmed that I didn't know 100% what I wanted to do. Like you see some people and they just know, and I was really frustrated that I didn't know. Um, I think it's really important to make sure you don't get disheartened by not knowing, you just, Make sure you keep all your options open. Don't turn down any opportunities. If you don't know what you want to do, it's good to keep your options open by being broad with your subject choices. So, you know, um, math, science, English, and something that you enjoy as well. I did production in year 11. Best experience ever. I still remember production week. And they said it to me at the time that you might not remember everything that you did, but you'll never forget how it felt and that is so accurate. So making sure that you do something that you enjoy and you have fun with it, but you keep your options open and you don't stress about not knowing what you want to do because it'll work out eventually. <laughs> Bit of a weird experience. Like I remember this place so well and I remember being here and I remember all my friends being here and feeling like we were so grown up. And then you come back now, when I'm 24, and I'm like, wow, I really wasn't grown up at all. <laughs> I was still a kid. Like, I don't know why I was so stressed about the rest of my life so early, because you've got the rest of your life to work it out, so it's fine. <laughs>